Hey, Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. I'm hoping to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruwell. <laughs> Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Noise in this gospel, bro, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Um, this is just a quick lesson through the Spirit. <laughs> Looks like here we go again. All right, uh, which this is a minute and 39 second video. Um, I thought about playing it, but, you know, Esau and this YouTube nonsense has been tripping with this medical misinfo nonsense. So, you know, just to avoid a uh, uh, violation on the channel, I'm just going to read the article. OK, because clearly we're not able to say, you know, certain things when it comes to the shit that's happening in the world regarding these plagues and pestilence. But yeah, Esau Edom, you know, he could put up videos like this and it, you know, it gets uh, it gets a uh, golden pass. So look like we at it again. Look like Esau is at it again. The 2020 ordeal being back in the news. It says, what is this mysterious pneumonia outbreak in China? All right. And it says as China experiences its first winter without the strict uh, one nine restrictions since the outbreak of the pandemic three years ago. It says a wave of respiratory illnesses is sweeping across the country. It says an unusual rise in cases has promoted the World Health Organization. Here we go with that. To uh, uh, to prod China for additional information on the outbreak and seek enhanced response measures. It says, although the cause of this trend is unclear, some health experts are attributing it to a common and temporary after effect of the lifting lockdown restrictions. <laughs> Even as unanswered questions around the infections in the country of their spread have led others to draw parallels with the early days of the you know what. It says, Here's what's to know about the current situation with the outbreak and what to expect. Now, you see what they're doing with this, right? They're comparing this to the 2020 ordeal. Okay, as we know that the WHO or the WHO basically assumed the uh, jurisdictions over the health policies. Okay, being able to interact uh, particular uh, lockdowns and draconian measures. Okay, and deploy military to certain provinces of the world to enforce these so-called uh, parameters. Now, going back to 2020, as we all recall, remember, um, it allegedly started in uh, China. And then within months, or weeks, it was over here in the West. And before you know it, the lockdowns came. It was two weeks, then a month, then a month led to two months and so forth. And then it led it to the, the face diaper mandates and to the point you had the social distance, which was all an experiment to see how people would accept this new, uh, this new world order. But basically, um, you had the social distance six feet had the weather, the, the face diaper, you know, it was only like 10 people allowed to go in a restaurant and eat at a time. And a lot of businesses closed. So if this is as dire as they're making it seem, and this is something that Esau wants to run with, then we can reassure you that this is uh, going to spread to the side of the world some form of fashion. Okay, there was a book back in, uh, what was this guy named? Uh, forgot this guy's name man but basically man it was a book he wrote back in 1984 regarding this and it was regarding like around the uh, uh what they call operation lockstep uh, we've done videos on this i've done a video on that probably like three years ago but they've been taking all those videos down going into how they had a, a time frame going back into the third and the fourth phases of this you know what how they was going to start enacting things okay and also what they don't tell you is that a new variant was released last month in October and the approval for an, uh, another juice, so to speak. So why everybody's been fixated on this World War III, they've been sending foreign military to this side of the world, okay, to this side of the world to subjugate you people because why everybody's fixated on uh, 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 the, the war between the Palestinians and the Israelis, they're getting ready to do a massive shutdown of this society, man. Okay, this is why you've been having bank runs. This is why... Um, You've been uh, uh, bank runs. This is why you've been having mass people come across the border. You know what I'm saying? And a certain terror alerts to be able to put the people in subjection, man, because they know that the people are not going to comply with another lockdown. OK, so they have foreign military over here to enforce these things. And what are the chances that the WHO has assumed the powers to be? And Biden has given them pretty much immunity and authority to police you people when it comes to your health. OK, so now they're going to want to stick you with the you know what, the icky vickies and more and more and more of that. And we told you that more things were getting ready to come down the pipe, man. 
You know, that's why it says, um, and this is how they're going to get people, it says some health experts are attributing to a common and temporary after effect of lifting lockdown restrictions. So basically they're trying to say because we let people uh, 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 out, out of prison, so to speak, therefore, uh, therefore uh, this is causing some type of outbreak, you know what I'm saying, versus locking them down. Because when you restrict people and you can find people... That causes illnesses and, 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 you know, flus and all that other nonsense, man. People have to be able to move around and be able to, to, to get out in nature and breathe, man. But if you stuck in a house 24-7, you sitting on the couch, you're going to become ill from that, you know? So it says here, what do we know about China's pneumonia outbreak so far? It says on November 13th, China's National Health Commission reported an increase in respiratory, you know what, at press conference. It says on Sunday, clusters of undiagnosed such and such in children in northern China were reported by the program for monitoring emergency disease, which is ProMed, a surveillance system. Up oh, there we go. That conducts global, okay, reporting of infectious disease outbreaks. It says it is unclear if this is report overlap with the conference information, but according to ProMed report, infections have proliferated in Beijing and the city of Linang, in the country's northeast, which are fit 500 miles apart. It says on Wednesday, the such and such asked China to release information on recent outbreak, including additional such and such in clinical information, as well as the laboratory results from these reported clusters among children. And this is how they're going to push it. Children are being affected. OK, so therefore, when a situation comes to the United States, people are going to rather uh, be on alert because one thing about these people, they're very emotional when it comes to children and women. OK, and that's the that's the tune they can play to get people to kind of revolt. OK, like they said, there's going to be a, a, a war between the, the the unjuiced and the juice, man. OK, and, and somehow, some way, when you people that took the juice, you're going to cause mass. You're going to cause the mass hysteria because whatever is inside you is going to cause to be activated. And you people are going to be the ones that's going to spread this. Whatever is getting ready to commence. And I have to speak in code. All right. But it says, although official figures. On numbers of cases are not yet available, yet hospitals in Beijing have witnessed a surge in patients, especially in the children's wards. It says one major hospital in the city has reported that on an average every day there are seeing about 1,200 patients, which I don't believe that, entering an emergency room. It says schools in Beijing are also reporting on high levels of absenteeism, even dismissing entire classes for at least a week if some students are ill and warning parents to be extra cautious. It says health officials also worried uh, that winter would exaggerate this exa exaggerate the spread of the as such and such after a warning from China's National Weather Authority starting on Thursday the country's cold temperatures can plunge even further so it looked like each y'all eating getting ready to do something man okay and we're gonna get a couple of precepts because this is a damn good article it's pretty lengthy but um Lord's will I can get through it all all right but hey they getting ready to lock down again because some way somehow they're gonna push this thing over here man Okay, if it's not this, then it will be something else. But we know that the Bible talks about pestilence. Okay, and we know that the elites are highly at work to try to get the new world order off the ground. Because this whole new world order system is going to be predicated on you accepting the digital ID, which is the micro C hip. And they're going to lock all these people down to force them. You ain't coming into the new world order unless you got that micro C hip in you, man. And that's what all this shit is about. Same thing when they was pushing the you-know-what on the people. This is the same thing, man, okay? And we've said it. I've said it plenty of times in the video. They're going to use the same formula that they've used to, to push the first one. But the second one is going to be real. Like Gates said, he said the second one is going to get people's attention. So, hey, man, you people getting ready to, to drop dead, man. You people getting ready to suffer, especially those of you that drink that you-know-what. Okay, so this is the book of Psalm 64, and I'm going to start at verses uh, 5. It says, They encourage themselves in the evil matter, and they commune of laying snares privately, and they say, Who shall see them? Because at the, well, since when did the WHO have jurisdiction in fucking China, man? Okay, I thought that was headed through like the UN and the European nations. How the hell did they get jurisdiction to oversee a global surveillance system in China? Which shows you that Esau was behind this, just like he was behind the first one. Okay, he's in league with them, with the Moabites, you know what I'm saying? The elites of Moab and Esau are in league with each other, man. So they basically fund them to set up these chemical labs in their country to create these uh, these pestilence, man. Okay? And then they put them among the people. And then, you know, they'll take the bait and they will blame China for it when 
retrospect, Esau was just using them as a as a as a mediator, so to speak, because found out that allegedly that were um, uh, bio labs like under like somewhere in New York, like underground or something like that. It was some some information that came out. Can't prove it, but um, you know, nonetheless, man, found out that China has fucking bio labs over here too, and I won't be surprised because we know America has them in other countries as well. You know, so that's where all these pestilence are coming from. But it's the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said that would be pestilence. Okay? So it says they encourage themselves in the evil matter and they commune of lame snails privately and they say who shall see them. Because the average person is going to believe this shit, man. Okay? The average person or the average brain dead monkey in America and just around the world in general, they don't have the spiritual insight to look into these things and see what's happening on the inside. Okay, they're gonna listen to what NBC or CNC, whatever the hell them news stations are, and they're gonna listen to that stuff, and then they're gonna take that as verbatim because the news said so. But they're not realizing that the people that they put in office, these unelected officials, are the ones that's conjuring this up on you people to push you into draconianism, man. And there will be bloodshed this time, okay? Because that foreign military, hey, they're not gonna play. Hey, you get caught outside your jurisdiction, you ain't on your uh, your order, they're gonna put you down. And this is the time we're coming in. It's getting ready to get very, very volatile. Okay? And it's getting ready to be a cold, dark winter. <laughs> but it says, um, and it says here, they search out iniquity. Iniquity is sin on top of sin. They accomplish a diligent search. And the inward thought of every one of them in the heart is deep. But the Most High should shoot at them with an arrow, and suddenly they should be wounded. So should they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, and all that see them should flee away. But this tells you here, the elites are involved in this. Okay, um, let's get another precept here: pestilence, not pestilence, pestilence, because the scriptures goes into famines and plagues and pestilence, and you know how the Most High was going to smite Egypt with plagues as before. You know, and pestilence comes up in the Bible uh, uh, 50 times, like Exodus 9 and 15. It says, for now I will stretch out my hand that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence and thou should be cut off from the earth. And that's getting ready to happen in a big way, man. Okay, because remember the Georgia Guidestones, they said they wanted to maintain humanity under 500 million. So they're getting ready to depopulate roughly seven and a half billion people or at least attempt to. Okay, and the ones that they don't get as far as this is concerned, that World War Three is going to take out the rest of them people because, hey, those missiles are considered uh, the noisome, uh, the noisome pestilence as well. OK, so, yeah, man, all hell getting ready to break loose in this society. And you better believe that these people in America, they're going to finally start to revolt. All right. So Jeremiah 28 and 8, it says the prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied against many countries. Isn't this is a, a country, a corporation? It says against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. Okay? So this is what we're going through. Pestilence. Sicknesses, man. You know? And it says here, Jeremiah 29 and 17, it says, Thus says Yahweh of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence. And all these things are going to happen simultaneously. Because each plague complements the other. Okay? Economic collapse brings in famine. Famine brings in a sword. Sword brings in pestilence. Because dead bodies brings in sicknesses, man. Especially when you're not going to have people to bury them. But it says here, sword, famine, and a pestilence, and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten. They are so evil. And I will persecute them with the sword, and with the famine, and with the pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth, which this is going into our people, and to be a curse and an astonishment and a hissing and a reproach among all the nations which I have driven them. This is talking about the Israelites, man. But this curse is falling on all you people. Okay, because for the simple fact, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, is getting ready to uh, make his moves out here. All right, this is the book of Ezekiel 6 and 11. It says, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, smite with the hand and stamp thy foot and say, Alas, for all the evil abominations of the house of Israel. You Jakes are going to suffer from this, man. Okay, you Jakes are going to suffer greatly because, for one thing, this is really targeted towards you. Because Esau knows that salvation and your kingdom is up next. And in order to prevent as many as you as to making it in the kingdom on the first try he's gonna do it and this is gonna be rectified by that motb and it says for they shall fall by the sword and by famine and by the pestilence and he that is far off should die of the pestilence and he that is near shall fall by the sword and he that remained it and is besieged shall die by the famine 
Thus, I will accompany my fury upon them. And be siege goes into being captive, man. So when they shut these cities down, they're not going to allow certain foods to come in the city. You know, they're going to ration things out to people that's integrated into society, you know, and for the rich. But other than that, you Jake's, you take the micro seed every night, you still ain't going to get uh, left out. Okay, because Esau Edom has that perpetual hatred from you. But the elect, we're going to be protected from it. All right. Uh, this is the book of Psalms 89. And I'm going to start at verses. Uh, let's start at verses 20. It says, I found David, my servant, with my holy oil, I have anointed him. And with whom my hand should be established, my arm also should strengthen him. And the enemy should not exact upon him, nor the son of the wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness is and my mercy should be with him. And in my name shall his horn be exalted, which is power. Okay? And that's the point I wanted to make, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to deliver us from the pestilence. You know, the plagues. And it says, And I was set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers, and he should cry unto me, Thou my father, my power, the rock of my salvation. Man, that's the point. Okay? The Lord is going to be our salvation. Okay? He's going to keep us from uh, uh from famine and from pestilence, man. Okay. And it tells you here, going down to verses, um, no plague should come near thy dwelling place. But anyway, let's go back to the article, read a couple more, then I'll shut it down. But it says, what is this spreading in China? But it says, authorities from China's National Health Commission attribute the rise in cases to the lifting of the C19. Restrictions. So basically, they saying because we let you people out, you are spreading it. But they're not calling it that. But in a roundabout way, they calling this pneumonia, which is a respiratory illness. <laughs> so it wasn't called for the the lockdowns, and they knew that. But it says health experts have also agreed this could be the reason, similar to the lockdown exit wave that was witnessed in countries like the United Kingdom. So there they go. They putting the beat. You know, they putting uh, the beast in it now. It says that China may be repaying an immunity debt. After that lengthy lockdown, which must have drastically reduced the circulation of respiratory bugs and hence decreased immunity to e epidemic, you know what? All right. And he added on the current information, there's no reason to suspect the emerge of the novel pathogen and that the microplasma predominate the probable source of most cases and a bacteria that typically affects younger children is generally fairly harmless. But Chinese authorities listed microplasma as one of the circulating pathogens along with the respiratory cynical virus rsv or the sars you know what and the virus that causes you know what it says and who has asked china for more information in recent patterns with these microorganisms man okay so that shows you right here and they're getting ready to, to, to this is probably what they've been talking about but we have to wait and see but it says while the presence of a novel pathogen is the possibility until more information is made uh, it says available to the outbreak due to an existing but newly mutated pathogen with modified characteristics and severity. All right. It says both scenarios will be of a global concern as pathogens will cross national borders sooner or later, regardless of how preventative measures he said. So there you go. This is your new LD, your new lockdown right here. OK, global concern, national borders. Those are the, the buzzwords they're going to use to shut this place back down. OK. And it says at their press conference, Chinese authorities said that there's a need to step up disease surveillance and strengthen the capacity of health systems. There you go. And the WHO and the medical and the medical staff in China have also advised people in the country to re reinforce practices of the C19, you know what era, such as rigorous hand washing, wearing masks and social distancing. And what are the chances that uh, California, parts of California, like uh, out there in the Bay Area, they mandated their uh, mask policy, I believe, back in uh, September, and I think September, October, or well, maybe this month. But also, certain counties are gonna be have to wear masks in California up until like uh, March thirty first and some some April. So they're getting you already ready, you know what I'm saying? They're getting you already mentally ready to to deal with this shit. They're trying to tell you. It says also a calls for less con concern since a new you know what is available for the you know what. So there you go. All right, so let's look up RSV. Yep, respiratory cynical infection. And look at what fucking website is on. <laughs> the three-letter word, right? Now, let's do some uh, information on this. So, yeah, brothers, I think they're getting ready to, 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 to play off this again, man. 
but they got it. They're going to be ready next time because people ain't going for it. You know what I'm saying? People ain't going for it um, anymore. So they're going to have some shit on their hand. And it says here, a recent study found the mortality rate for patients hospi- hospitalized with this, with this X, Y, and Z, and I can't read it, to be 6.6%, with approximately 25% of hospitalized patients requiring admission to intensive care unit. So that's a fourth of people. You know, it's not very common to, to succumb from this, but they're going to play on it just like the first one, which had a 99.6% survival rate. All right. So this is the book of uh, Psalms 91 and 1. It says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High should abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay. And the secret place is this wisdom and understanding, this truth. And it says, and I will say to the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and in him I will trust. Surely he would deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence, which is the missiles. And he should cover thee with his feathers and under his wings thou should trust. And his truth should be thy shield and buckler. So those of us that's in that truth, in the truth, man, we ain't got nothing to worry about. All right. We just got to stay faithful. And it says, thou should not be afraid by the terror by night. You know, Jacob's trouble and nor the arrow that fly by day, which is the war of Armageddon, World War Three. It says, nor the pestilence that walk in the darkness, nor the destruction that wasted the noonday. And a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it should not come near thee, man. Okay, and that's the point. We're going to be all right, even though brothers did suffer from the first one. But overall, you know, brothers recover from it, you know, and the Lord is sustaining us. But it says, only with thy eyes should thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made Yahweh, which is thy my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling place, man. For he should give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. And they should bear thee up in their bands, in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone, man. Okay? So that's the point I wanted to make. But it's uh, several precepts, man, we can go into. Uh, I'm going to get one more. Matthew 24. Um, you can read 2nd Edges 16, 15 and 16, which is a clearly indicator of what we're going through. But uh, this is the book of uh, Matthew 24. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 6. And it says, And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. But see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Okay, look up the word pestilence, um, and it's straightforward, a plague, a fatal epidemic disease, especially the bubonic plague. Okay, so we're in a time, man, plagues are going to hit this side of the world, and hey, they're going to try to bring back lockdowns. But this case, it's going to be through bloodshed. And with that, all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about Shimi? How about Shai? And with that, Shalom.